Hi guys and welcome to another vlog. I hope you guys had a great weekend. Mine was pretty good. I just got out of my final choir concert of the year. Possibly of my whole college career. It depends on if I decide whether or not to go back just for choir next year. But uh, So I apologize if I look a little worse for the wear right now. It was a really intense concert but we did a lot of fun stuff. Here's a little taste of what we did in our concert today. So yeah, lots of fun. I really enjoyed it. We did that and we did um, several other really cool songs. We did this one by Eric Whitaker called Cloudburst and mom actually filmed that whole one so I may put that up separately because it's kind of a long song. But uh, anyways, so um, this video is about Disney Bounds and this is just a basic Disney Bound question. Um, this is from 2010 Aveen. And he asked me, what is a Disney Bound? And I had my that green dress that was up here in the background of some of my videos. I had my stuff there to film it, and now it's kind of disappeared. Um, so I'm going to have to look in my closet and see if I can find anything else in there. Let's see. Those are all my frozen shirts. All my frozen shirts. More frozen shirts. I have a lot of frozen shirts. Um, it's actually all of my Disney bound, all of my Disney bound clothes are gone. Um, well, no, I have this one is in here from a from when I went to go see Frozen Fever, this old Frozen Fever Elsa Disney Bound dress is in here, but uh, I'm not sure where my other clothes went. I'm gonna, maybe I washed them and forgot about it. Let's go ask my mom. Mom? Yes? Mom, have you seen all of my clothes for my Disney Bound? What clothes for your Disney Bound? You know, like the blue skirt and the silver shirt that I have for Elsa. Or the new green dress that I got for Frozen Fever. Elsa, you haven't seen any of those? Oh, I know what you're talking about. I but know what you clothes you're talking about. you seen them? Why would I know where they are? You're making this very... <laughs> why would I know where... Oh, why would I even go into your room to mess with your clothes? Okay. So, she reacted a little weirdly. Um, I mean, I guess it's a work night. She, This is her third night to work in a row. And she didn't get much sleep today, so she may have been a little bit out of it, but, uh... I guess I can use past examples of what a Disney Bound looks like. Um, I can use some of the pictures from when I went to Disney, um, in August of last year. So, uh, I guess we'll just have to do that. But basically, first things first, um, a Disney Bound is making your outfit resemble a character's. So, like, for example... That was one that I wore um, to Disney World in August of last year. And that one is a Snow Queen Elsa Disney Bound because it's got the light blue skirt and it's got the uh, shimmery stuff on the front. And uh, so that's an, just like a Snow Queen Elsa Disney Bound. And then this one is a Coronation Elsa Disney Bound. And uh, the colors are kind of off just because it's very hard to find a fabric for a... Uh, like that specific color like I don't know why it's so hard to find that color but it's hard to find that color so uh, the coloring is a little off but I do have the purple scarf which is pretty spot on and then the black shirt underneath it so uh, there's that one and then um a bit of a throwback this was back when I went to Disneyland in 2013 for Christmas that's an Anna Disney bound it is um 
the snow gear on a Disney bound. Um, that one I'm actually pretty proud of. That one was, um, I think that one was well put together. The colors were pretty spot on and I really enjoyed piecing that one together. And now for a way, way throwback, this one was back in June of 2013. That one's a Rapunzel Disney Bound. Um, I don't remember much about that Disney Bound. That was almost two whole years ago. But uh, there's the purple skirt and the pink and purple shirts layered on top of each other. And uh, I got a lot of compliments on that. I do remember that. And uh, the other day on that trip was this one. Which clearly is a Minnie Mouse Disney Bound. Um, that one was really fun too. And I like went all out for that one. I had like Minnie Mouse earrings. And I had the yellow shoes and the black tights and the and the polka dot dress and the ears and everything. That one was really fun. So, uh, yeah, when people ask about Disney bounding, it's just coordinating your outfit to resemble a character from any Disney film. Disney bound is usually just Disney films. Um, sometimes they have like um, combo breakers or like game breakers or whatever and they'll do like different movies but it usually Disney band is Disney characters although you're seeing it all the time nowadays where people are starting up blogs for random characters in general you'll send in a character and someone will put together an outfit for you but uh Disney band I think was the first that ever actually did that kind of outfit piecing together so uh it's really fun I love to Disney bound I don't do it as much like at home but like any time that I go on a Disney trip um, or like when I went to Frozen on Ice and stuff like that I usually wear a Disney bound it's just it's really fun and it's also really um, it's really pleasing when someone recognizes what you're doing and they'll like call you out on it because you're like yes you understand yes <laughs> but uh, yeah Disney bounding is really fun I definitely recommend it to anyone and everyone if you're ever in the parks or if you ever just want a little bit of Disney in your everyday life, Disney bounding is super duper fun and I love it so much. And I'm really sorry that all my clothes are gone. That's really, really weird. Usually I'm a stickler. I have like this little section in the back of my closet that has all of my Disney bound clothes in it. And it's not there and that's frustrating because um, I really wanted to show you guys. But um, I know someone else has... Um, has, um, has asked me to do a video about Frozen Disney bounds and about um, other Disney bounds that I've done. So I'll still do those in the future, maybe after I find out where my clothes went. But, uh, because I've got a few Frozen Disney bounds besides the ones that I mentioned in this video. So I'll definitely have those two videos sometime in the future. But, uh, yeah, this was a basic introduction to Disney Bounding 101. <laughs> Alright, you guys know what to do now. Leave any questions, comments, ideas. Concerns for my sanity down below in the comments. Thank you for watching and I hope you guys have a wonderful week. Bye!